Hi guys, it's Hannah Mojo. Welcome to my channel. Hey, what's up? <laughs> You're watching Disney Channel. Come forward, come forward. Come forward! <laughs> if you did it, come forward. Hi guys, it's Hannah Mojo. So here's the thing. Um, it's very... What are you looking at maps for directions? <laughs> I'm ordering something and you know me like... What? It's so fucking funny. <laughs> So as you guys know, okay. it's very rare that we get brand deals around here. I mean, I feel like you get brand deals. Like My YouTube channel goes mostly unsponsored. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> so when we get a sponsor, why are you like a little five-year-old? Like it's going, it's very rare that I get brand deals around here. And when someone wants to come and, you know, pay for some space on the channel, I think it's very important that we go above and beyond for them. Mm. Today's video is sponsored by a wonderful dating app that I'm going to tell you much more about later in the video. Um, but with that being said, we're going above and beyond for the brand. You know, we could put... What's the brand? <laughs> <laughs> we could totally put their sponsorship within a video that had nothing to do with the brand. But it's a dating app. So I thought, to be in spirit with the dating app, I would go on a date. We're on a date. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I'm forcing my ex to sit down with me and uh, pretend like we're on a date even though we both probably don't want to be here. I love you too. <laughs> I'll try to be good at it though. You, I'll take notes from, from the queen. So tonight I happen to be caught up, caught up with my ex. <laughs> and we're letting the people join us. Okay. You want me to pour you a drink? So right now, all of my friends, I would say our friends, but I feel like they're only your friends by like Default. <laughs> you like force. I would never hang out with any of these people. <laughs> but you love them, no? No, I love them. But now I sound like the girls, like, but you love them. Like, but I feel like you Yeah, do. would they hang out with me if we weren't dating? No, like, it's not mean. It's just mutual understanding. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> so it's Ari, my best friend, and my roommate's birthday. He's celebrating it in Vegas, at a hotel in Vegas, and they are sponsoring the entire thing. And I happen to be banned from the hotel. Happened to be banned. <laughs> I actually got banned once, got unbanned, and then got rebanned for the second time, which is a story for a later date, or maybe never. So everyone's gone. Everyone in my house is gone, and they're all at Ari's birthday, and I'm watching all their stories, and I'm having so much FOMO. So tonight, Chris and I went on a very toxic double date with Hunter and his girlfriend, mm. and... <laughs> Are you, like, the worst person for me to film this with? No, film it, film it. Let's go. <laughs> I love this video! It's a good video. So this is Chris Miles. This is I. This is my ex. We dated for approximately a year. Not like consecutive though. Like, <laughs> like week, 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 week. <laughs> <laughs> no, we went strong for like what? Strong? <laughs> no. No, what do you how what was our like best like point where we weren't arguing at all? Well that's never. <laughs> so now we're not dating. <laughs> and we're bros. Yeah, that's my slap. <laughs> my slime. Chris just tooted. No, I did not. You just farted so loud. Cut it out of the video, we're sending an NDA! <laughs> Guys, we took a 30 minute break from filming because Chris has never done this in his life and actually hates it. I used to be a movie. YouTuber before I made music. What do you mean? From like uh, 8 to 11, I loved YouTube. <laughs> Shane Dawson. Is it, that's how you became famous, right? No, music. Okay, so from 8 to 11, you loved. I want to be a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. I liked like uh, Shane Dawson, Fred, no, I had like three Fred shirts. I used to only wear those to school because I was just that obsessed. Because you know how you wear the same shirt every day? Um, no, I actually don't. <laughs> yeah, I remember I hit like a thousand subscribers and I was like, yes. I was like posting videos of me getting hit by cars, but like edit, like I was, I went to the Apple store to get lessons on Final Cut. Like I was, I actually did this shit. Like. <laughs> it's crazy because you'll talk to me and you'll be like, sorry, I'm not a fucking YouTuber. Because I'm not. Yeah, but like. It's because it's I'm a failed one and I'm just hating <laughs> on you for succeeding. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, I'm not a YouTuber like you. <laughs> it's just like my dreams are crushed. We just took a 30 minute break. I and didn't talk to each other at all. <laughs> <laughs> Fully both of us on TikTok like 30 feet from each other. I just wasn't funny enough the first video and she like got mad at me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, you failed me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> sorry my lord. So, premise of the video. Yeah, it's this new dope app, right? <laughs> What are you laughing about? It's some real shit. I love this act. No, but I'm saying premise of the video that we're inserting the brand deal into mm -hmm. is we're on a date. Oh, so we're on a date right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, we on a date. You know what I'm saying? Let me light the. Hold up. <laughs> Let me light this shit up. <laughs> we got shout out Megan Fox. Boo hoo. See the vibes. Candle lit. So what do we do tonight? You blew out the candle with your laugh. <laughs> you said. <laughs> 
What did we do tonight? We had a little like foursome date at Yisabel <laughs> with Hunter and his girl. I just thought it would be fun for you guys to tune in to me hanging out with my ex. Half of the people maybe will understand why we were together for so long. Yeah. And then half Hopefully. of the people will be like, oh, you guys should never be together. I mean, that's most people in real life too. <laughs> I'm God. Days. You decide. <laughs> <laughs> Vote in the comments if we should continue this relationship. I want to take off my pants on them. Yeah, take them, take them fucking pants off. See, not going really in the video. <laughs> <laughs> and now here's a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by iPlanet. <laughs> I love iPlanet. <laughs> I partnered, I partnered with, with iPlanet. iPlanet. Today's video is in partnership with iPlanet to help them launch their brand new social media metaverse platform on blockchain where you can meet new people. This is the first time they're coming to the US. I'll tell you more about it later. Discover new content and people from different countries and culture with iPlanet. Thank you to iPlanet, the brand new metaverse dating and social media platform for sponsoring today's video. I love NFTs. What's your most like embarrassing dating story? Do you have any embarrassing crypto memories? <laughs> <laughs> any stories in your blockchain that are- In my own? blockchain, in my <laughs> I tweeted on Twitter to ask us questions while we're on this date. What did they say? <laughs> so Tana tweeted her fans and they were like, um, yeah, let me ask y'all some questions. Nah, hold up. <laughs> God fucking damn it. So we're gonna answer the questions, right? <laughs> Do you hear that owl? Yeah. It's just, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Why did we break up? People asked that, but also I was gonna ask that. Whatever the narrative is that you want them to receive. Some girl told you that I texted her and you were like, oh, you texted this girl and I'm gonna go fuck this guy in the bathroom. And I was like, all right, bet. And then we <laughs> broke up. That's my take on it. Right? Yeah, I texted this girl, not trying to hang out. I was just so like, you did text the girl? No, I texted the girl. I was like, what's the vibes for tonight? Like, what? Because this girl that I was texting knows every fucking after party. A couple of days later, we go to a bar, and this girl runs up. Tana, Chris texted me. What's the vibes? And I just see you look at me from across the bar, jaw drop. I'm like, and you just immediately said, we're done. And then you just went and like fucked one of your exes in the bathroom. And I was like, all right, bet. I have to fart. Cool. What's your favorite memory with me? My favorite memory with you, we had sex on a private jet once. We had sex on a yacht. Let's so just it. sex? No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> That's what your mind immediately goes to, is sex? No, I'm just thinking of like cool, wild moments. Like our best moment to me are like when we're just chilling in bed, like laughing about dumb shit. But like, that's not like exciting. Oh, we're watching a movie and we're laughing in bed, smoking weed. That's not exciting to the camera. Like we <laughs> fucked on a private you jet. Do it. <laughs> What's your favorite memory? Why are these all questions for me? My favorite memory is you. Hold on. I'm gonna make it sound so sweet and wholesome so you look so awful. <laughs> You're like, what about that time we fucked on a private jet? <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite memories with you is we were in Hawaii on mushrooms in the ocean. That's also one of my favorite memories. We just laughed all day. It was cute. See, and now I sound like a great person. Keep in mind, like, that cut that y'all just saw, that was like a 30 minute pause of her sitting here looking at the table <laughs> trying to think of something. <laughs> like, but no, that's one of my favorite too. We are playing like Marco Polo in the ocean and the waves were like turning into humans. <laughs> We went to New York together. That was I was fun. just thinking that I love your family way more than I love you. Your mom. But my mom loves you. I think my mom loves you more than she loves me. Is that hard for you? Having, <laughs> having my mom support my ex so hard. Yeah. Well, you've never been toxic to my mom. Like why she? <laughs> you like taught her how to face tune. I tweeted ask me and Chris Miles questions right now. And Amari said, who spends more on the postmate rot sessions? We Usually in relationships, it's like you need like a yin and a yang and we're just yang, yang. That's so true. Yeah. That's our biggest problem is we're very much like similarly the same person. You want to like motivate the other person like, let's go to the gym and let's like smoke and we'll just be like trying to order Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like, all right, bet. <laughs> Three days go by, argue, <laughs> leave. I'm just Jesus. kidding. Oh. Unfortunately, that is our favorite pastime. Just like doing nothing. We both love to do nothing. Because we'd be making jokes. We'd be joking <laughs> about stuff in the privacy. We got another question coming in hot. <laughs> Someone said, how many songs has he made you? And we have a big discrepancy where you'll say, because you make like a million songs. Like you have hundreds yeah. of songs like in the Rolodex of your music. Well, some of them, like if like I'm, I'm really going through it, they'll be, I'll just write about this to make myself feel better. You know, cope my LO outlet. Yeah. But a lot of the times when I write songs, I just like say stuff that I'm feeling and at the end of it, I'll like put it all together. I'll be like, what does this mean? If one line in the song remotely relates to me or us, you in my head, the song is automatically about me. Okay, so yeah, usually in most of my songs, there's like one line about you. Aww. Are we more than friends? 
We're not dating, but we're not friends. Like, I don't think I could ever just be your friend. If we didn't talk to each other for a year and I saw you again, I'd be like, oh, we could be. I don't know. I feel like my emotions are too tied up. I'm a jealous, toxic king. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we could be more than just friends? Oh, wait, what was the question? Are we, too, are we just friends? I like not answering. It almost makes me like mysterious. <laughs> yeah, you're like, you're Ellen. Why is Ellen your Because she's the talk host and I'm, the, I'm Kim K. <laughs> What's the drunkest funny story we have together? No, it's one. And that actually brings us to the middle of the video. I plan to ask us to share a story that has to do with NFTs. <laughs> <laughs> and I plan it wants Tana to share a funny story about <laughs> NFTs and dating. I plan it asked us to share a funny story that has to do with NFTs. Do we have one? Oh, we do have one. As you guys saw by one of my most recent vlogs, I threw a launch party for my brand, Dizzy. The white wine, so good. <laughs> So amazing, adequate taste. You just didn't sound like you loved it. No, I love Disney. <laughs> I love Disney. They didn't even send me a PR box, but it's okay. I'm, so I'm they. So she threw it at our friends. Can I say? No. The party was thrown at a couple good friends of mine who own the biggest NFT company in Los Angeles called After Party. It was a fun time. I had a good night. She threw this launch party. I don't know, like maybe it was just because like, were we dating at the time? I don't know. I just like, no. well, like we pulled up together and I guess I was just like way too comfortable. Like I just got really fucked up and I was like, cause it was your launch party. Everyone we know is there. Yeah, everybody is there. And I just like drank too many dizzies. Okay. It was your party. I feel like dizzy is one of those drinks so that beyond four, like you're belligerent. It's literally this big and it's the same percentage as a four loco. Like, it's not the same energy taste wise, it just like gets you that drunk. Yeah. So like you can really only have like two to three dizzies before you're like an awful person. Yeah. I just drank a bunch of dizzies, was having a great time. I was just demanding the bartenders to give me more dizzies. I was standing on the bar and I was making jokes. Yeah, I was like, more dizzies. <laughs> I, apparently I was throwing ice, I think I threw an ice cube at Dixie D'Amelio. Well, that's what I was getting at. I will say when I'm drunk, I have a lot of problems. You slur your words, you stumble, you try to hook up with everybody. But when you're drunk, yeah, I have a lot of upon demons. your many toxic traits, really, I'm one of your toxic traits is you will throw anything in sight if you're belligerent. Oh, you no. would throw this laptop if you were drunk enough. Yeah, because it's good vibes, it's good vibrations, everybody's having a good time. What? <laughs> <laughs> I farted and it smells really bad. It smells so bad. Come sit back down in my fart air. Not your fart air. So uh, eventually you threw an ice cube at Dixie Zubilio. Apparently. They asked you to leave and then you had an NFT that was held by them. They gave me an NFT, yeah. I had it and then the next day the owner of After Party asked if he could buy it off of me. <laughs> <laughs> the next day. Mm -hmm. They're very selective of like who owns or has their NFTs. I woke up and I already knew I had fucked up. I'm like, damn, like I, I really blacked out last night because I don't know what happened, but I just know it wasn't good. I see Hunter in the living room. I'm like, yo, I got really blacked out last night, huh? He's like, yeah, you're blacklisted. You're not allowed back there. Banned from the NFT house of LA. Nicest house in LA. Nicest house. Nicest people. So apparently the only two people that were blacklisted were me and Addison Ray's dad for some reason. My boy Monty Lopez just got <laughs> banned from After Party. A couple days go by and I'm in Hawaii with the people that work with After Party. And I'm sitting at dinner with them and they're like, I need to buy the NFT from Chris. He cannot be holding it anymore. <laughs> I sold it for two ETH, which was like 6K at the time. It is now worth roughly $40,000. Lost out on a quick 34k. Throwing yeah. ice at Dixie D'Amelio cost you 34,000. <laughs> Karma's crazy, man. Sometimes I don't want to be happy. I love Dixie. So don't hold it against me. Fucking leave me there and let me be. <laughs> I have to pee. Okay. I peed. Yeah. All right, y'all. We're gonna keep trying this shit. I don't know if it's working too good. <laughs> Let's tell the story of how we met. Okay. People actually always ask me how you and I met. The first time I ever remember factually meeting you was, was like a year and a half, two years after Hefner. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to make a Hefner remix. And I was really close with Diablo. Mm -hmm. And he was like, let's go in. Like, Diablo was like, I have this great writer. She had the worst attitude I've <laughs> ever like seen ever. Like literally, I wasn't about it. I, and I recorded it about like sucking dick and shit, but it was a hit. And you try to record it for like 30 minutes and you're like, no, like I just can't do this. Like, And at the time it was just like, I'm not remixing Hefner. I don't feel like it, which is dumb. Yeah, I was like, what do you want to talk about she's like you know just like slutty rich stuff <laughs> all right got it put myself in your shoes i'm like i'll leak it one day Fuck on your bitch like i'm hefner what? she gave me her number don't text her yeah. i can't kiss you we gotta have sex first yeah. i'll be killing these bitches like dexter like yeah i get the bag and i run it up yeah. heard that you mad yeah it sucks it sucks yeah they see me in person like what the fuck what? i took his bitch for a hundred bucks drowning in them zannies while he's drowning in my panties bitch. got versace in my mansion but that shit's not in miami yeah Got so many scandals, but they know I'm still that bitch. Yeah, I know they wish I was canceled. Fuck you, suck my dick. Fuck on your bitch 
like I'm half nerd. Yeah, he give me that dick till my legs hurt. He be diving in it, going head first. In that new Ferrari, you can catch her. <laughs> Someone said, does he regret cheating on you? I never cheated. Can we like... So again, this video is sponsored by iPlanet. Make sure to create create your own fan page on iPlanet and gain followers or simply follow anyone you like or come follow me if you don't have anyone in mind. Downloading is free and it can take only five seconds to sign up. <laughs> Expand your social life and express your lifestyle here. It's legit the best place to be yourself. If you're interested in joining me on the blockchain and in the metaverse and making friends on iPlanet, use my user invite code here. I want to move to the metaverse. Should we raise a family in the metaverse? Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said, who gave who herpes? The world may never know. <laughs> Do you think we're going to end up together? Literally, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> I have no clue. Like, I, I hope sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but then sometimes I'm like, fuck, I like, I like, move. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video that's never going to make it to the internet. <coughs> Listen, I tried for you. Did you see my butt crack a lot? Is that like a thing? <laughs> <laughs> if I shit on your dick, would you still like me? You're not going to post this. No, I will. You wouldn't like me anymore if I well, shit on your Well, it sounds like dick. you're saying you would do it on purpose. No, 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 if I accidentally shit on your dick. Wait, I would get the ick, no. but like, I would feel bad, I guess. <laughs> if I turned into a worm tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. I'm a worm. This big. Mm-hmm. In your hand, but I can talk. You can still talk? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What would you do? I mean, like, I would just probably just, like, throw you in my bag and just, like, bring you around places. But would you still fuck other people? Am I gonna fuck a worm? <laughs> so just never have sex ever again. But, like, you jack off and I'm, like, a worm and I'm like, oh, yeah. No, I'm not a worm sexual. Bro, if I turned into a worm, you're gonna, you're gonna rock with me? <laughs> no, you're not. We said before, if I was a robot, I feel like she would just, like, she would jailbreak me and, like, program me to, like, be, like, everything she wanted. And then, like, she would, like, turn me off and then just go, like, hook up with other dudes. And then, like, come back and turn me on and it would be, like, 2024. I'd be like, what fucking year is it? <laughs> be fucked up. Would you be down if right now someone told you you could jailbreak me and make me a robot and I was just, like, your bitch and you could turn me on and off? Would you rather have me or the robot me? Would robot you still be you? Or would you be like, hi, let me... I would, like, jailbreak you and make you... Cook me pork chops. Never cook you pork chops. <laughs> exactly. If I was bald, would you still like me? Would you rather me be your dad or your brother? <laughs> if you had to pick one, like I'm about to turn into one right now. This video is shitty. What did you feel like filming this video was? I just feel like I just like couldn't get hard in bed. Like I just fucked up the video. Like that's what it feels like. I just fumbled it. And I'm still fucking fumbling it. <laughs> Palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. <sighs> <laughs> No, I'm such a good YouTuber. I have a thousand subscribers. You look pretty. Should this just be a sex date? No. Okay. Gotta go. Gotta blast. Bye. <laughs>